Hi everyone, it's Donna with Rimbrody.com. Welcome to today's spotlight video. So I've got some fun, fabulous spring designs for you today. This first one is from um, Country Cottage Needlework. It is up, up, and away. Oh my gosh, you guys, look how stinking cute this is. We've got these trio of hot air balloons. I mean, it says up, up, and away, a cute little house, the grass, a tree. So I have a sample here. You can see that she totally changed the color scheme. <clears throat> this one um, on the photo here is done with hand dyes. Um, she changed the color scheme and she used um, just regular DMC. But I love the subtle changes, you know. She of course made each of these two matching, just like the pattern. Changed the middle one to purple, changed the house to purple. She even added some beading detail here on the bottom of the balloon, as well as the flowers. Uh, the middle of the flowers are just a little um, yellow seed bead. The handle of the door of the house is a black seed bead. I love the little different changes she made to make this design her own. Um, <clears throat> now in the, in the pattern, there are clouds in the sky, and she switched them out to seagull buttons. How cute is that? And I believe this is summer sky fabric, so the sky is already implied. But I love the way this turned out. I love, I mean, just one little change by changing the color of the big balloon and the house totally made it her own. Okay, so next, again by Country Cottage Needlework, is this singing in the spring. You've got the cute little trio, again, of birdhouses with the cute little birds. You've got the singing in the spring along with, you know, a row of flowers um, and then the grass that they're sitting on. So I have three samples, three samples. Okay, so first sample is this one. This was done, oh gosh, you know, I don't know the name of this fabric, but she switched out these flowers to be buttons. You can see the musical notes at the top, so they're singing. Just a simple white frame. I believe this was even self-framed, you know? She just kind of placed it in the frame, which is a great option if you can't, you know, afford framing. I believe she just placed it in the frame. Super, super cute finish. Okay, so my next sample was done on a little bit darker blue fabric, um, and it looks like she did it almost exactly like the pattern calls for. The beautiful uh, flowers at the top and bottom, the trio of birds with the musical notes. Question, um, you'll notice on this one as well as this up, up, and away, that they, the stitcher put their initials in the year they did this. Do you guys do that? Do you sign your stuff? Um, I have never done that. Um, I will usually sign the back. Once I have it framed, I'll be like, you know, I did it this year. However, however, once you stitch it and get it framed, years and years could have gone by. So then it's like a guessing game. So I want to know if you guys uh, sign your stuff. Um, because it's, you know, it's nice to see sometimes, you know. So, and then my last sample is this one. Oh my gosh, look how stinking cute. So this is frozen margarita fabric, opalescent. And one of my local customers, Janice, she, we call her the beading lady because she loves beads. The whole top row and the bottom row are all done in beads. Even the birds, each bird is done completely in beads. Um, the white around the bird cages are beads. And then the bird cages themselves are metallic. Singing in the spring is metallic. I think the only thing that's the same is the notes and these flowers here. Otherwise, she's changed um, everything to either a clinic or a bead. But again, look at the difference between the three, you know? It is very, again, I love it because the stitcher makes the difference. Even if you're stitching the same thing as a friend of yours or, you know, something you've seen, what fabrics you use, what floss you use, and how you stitch makes such a big difference. Um, and it makes it unique to you. Okay, well that is it for this week, for today's spotlight video. Again, answer me those questions. Do you sign your stuff? Have you been in a hot air balloon? Because I think I would love it. <laughs>
<laughs> head over to my needlework blog on embroidery.com. I will have close-up pictures of all these projects as well as links to uh, both of the patterns. Make sure you turn your notifications on because that's how you'll know a new video is up. And as always, I love to hear your comments and suggestions, so leave those for me below. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. Happy stitching, and we'll see you next time. Bye!